And a lot of you started your new year with a new goal of getting into shape. Yep, there are so many tools you can use to track your progress, like Fitbits. I've got one and I'm borderline obsessed with it. Yep. And they just released two new versions. I know with so many to choose from. This morning, Best Buy's Alexandra LeBlanc gets us moving by showing us which is the best fit for you. Fitbits are just one brand of a device that tracks daily physical activity, weight, and goals by syncing with an app on your smartphone or tablet. And just looking at the selection, there are so many to choose from. Where should people start? There are so many, so it kind of depends on what you're um, ideally using for. The most basic at $59.99 is a zip that tracks steps, distance, and calories burned. The one, which is a chip that can be put in a pocket or clipped on a belt, or the Flex, a wristband, can do all of that, plus tracks your sleep. It monitors your sleep and it has a silent alarm. So let's say I need to wake, I worked at 6 a.m. today and I need to wake up at you know, 5.30 or 4 o'clock to get here, whatever the time may be, you're going to set that alarm and it's going to start sensing your sleep level about a half an hour before. So say you're at a lighter sleep 20 minutes before your alarm is set, it's going to wake you up a little bit earlier because it's easier for your body to wake up and start moving for the day um, if you're in a lighter sleep. So this thing can sense how deep of a sleep you're in? Yep, based off of your movement. The wristband will also keep you up to speed on your goals. Double tap on the screen and it'll show you what percent you are to your goal. I think there's about five dots, so it'll, each dot will light up for whatever percent you are. So 20%, 40%, 60%, and so on. The chip or wristband costs $99.95. For $30 more, you can get the charge, which displays the time and includes a caller ID if someone calls during your workout. The newest Fitbits released just this month are the Charge HR and Surge. Both monitor your heart rate. So you're actually going to be able to hear when you should either increase or decrease your speed to maximize your workout. How does it know your heart rate? Um, so the little LED sensor that they have under the wristband, it can sense the blood flow um, as it touches your skin to measure it that way. Wow. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to use any of the chest ones anymore. It's all going to be through the wristband. The Charge HR runs $150. The Surge is $250, but includes music control and notifications from your phone. And this one also allows you to receive text notifications and phone calls in the middle of a workout or if you're just, you know, using it for standard use as well. So you can see who's calling you. If you don't have your phone by you, see who sent you a text message as well. Fitbit also sells a scale that measures weight, BMI, lean mass, and body fat percentage. It's going to work with the app on your phone. So you step on your scale and it's going to store that information. Does it need Wi-Fi yeah, or what so is that? Yes, you do need Wi-Fi in your house for this to connect to. I'm um, just going to add the information to your app. Apparently Matt has a scale too. I've got the I've got the scale, I've got the wristband. My dad and my brother both have the brand new version that just came out oh. with the heart rate monitor. And one thing uh, the story didn't mention, uh, in, so in the app there's also this function where you can cheer or taunt your Fitbit friends. So I'm gonna taunt my dad and wake him up right now. <laughs> you should. All it is yeah. is just, it's like a meme face that you send to your friends. So here oh. we go. So uh, there's, there's Jeff and we're going to taunt him. Nice. We taunted Jeff. You a little competitive with your dad and brother? No. Well, that, that's, that's actually one of the really cool features about this is that you can sync up with your friends and family mm -hmm. and see how they're doing on their goals and they can see how you're doing on yours. So if you have a competitive family, it's one kind of fun way to accomplish your goal. Well, Alexandra wears a Fitbit while she's working at Best Buy. She says her busiest day was Black Friday. She walked seven miles in the store on that day alone, something she would never really know if she wasn't wearing her Fitbit. So it's kind of neat to see what you actually do in a day. Well, and you mentioned in the story there are many, many brands, and we're mm -hmm. seeing so many yeah. companies. Fitbit kind of uh, really had the first uh, foothold, if you will, in the wearable area. But we'll, we'll see as Apple comes out with mm -hmm. a new one this year. Jawbone does pretty well, Jawbone too. Jawbone up, yep. Uh, just real quick, Allie, tell me who's at the top of the leaderboard for the okay. most steps. Um, <laughs> it says Matt Brickman. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Must There's be because you get up so early. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> How'd you sleep last night? Not great. Uh, <laughs>